What's up guys, Seal Suede, going to do another full day of eating with the blood sugar measurements and the injections. It is currently uh, around 10.30 in the morning, um, July 28th, and it is Monday, so a bit of a late start to the morning, but it's okay. So as you guys know, uh, I've been on a reverse diet for the past like two to three weeks. Um, so what I did was initially at the end of my cut, I just increased my carbs by 50 grams and then increased my fats by five. And then what I've been doing is just adding five grams of carbs every single day. So for today, the macronutrient goal I'm going to hit is going to be 60 grams of fat, um, 340 grams of carbs, and 170 grams of protein. So protein stayed the same, carbs went up significant, significantly, and fats going up slowly. I'm probably not going to go past 65. I will get to 65 at a point, but I won't go past there. Carbs, honestly, it'll probably get to like around 400. We'll see, but going to go ahead, fix myself some breakfast. It's getting late. Stick with me, guys. Alright, guys, so here's my breakfast. Uh, turkey bacon, egg whites, and oatmeal. Looks good, huh? Boom! Now that looks a little better, guys. Look at that. We have the oatmeal right here. Turkey bacon, egg whites, and coffee. Delicious. guys so got breakfast over here uh, blood sugar was good it was 167 um, what I did was I took 10 units because 9 units for the food this is 108 grams of carbs and I take one unit for every 12 uh, grams of carbs it changes at times but um, for the mornings that's what I do for the most part so 10 units and then let me show you what I have over here so got um, the bacon the eggs with salsa and the oatmeal also the coffee that I spilled <laughs> but anyway guys this has um, been a staple in my diet like every morning it is so easy to make it takes around five to ten minutes <clears throat> ten minutes total prep time but it is awesome just eight egg whites with some salsa on top and then just like some seasonings and then four slices of turkey bacon three packets of my gluten-free uh, maple brown sugar oatmeal which tastes amazing by the way and then coffee so easy the macros on this meal um, are 64 grams of protein 20 grams of fat and 108 grams of carbs so pretty big meal guys and it is running kinda late so uh, I'm gonna get some calories in before I hit the gym gonna go ahead eat this up watch some YouTube you know the deal I'll see you guys later alright guys so real quick uh, about to head to the gym, just gonna real quick take my C4 and measure my blood sugar as usual. Pretty much like a routine. Um, of course I don't have this like every single day, but today's gonna be the first time I'm doing legs in like um, two and a half weeks. What I'm gonna do is 50% of what I usually, like what I used to be doing. So I'm gonna half the weight in everything. Um, as you guys know, if you saw my last video, uh, I have a leg injury, I have high hamstring tendonitis, and it's going to take a good like six weeks to fully heal it until I'm doing, until I can be adding progressive overload back to my power and hypertrophy leg days. So, not a big deal. I'm going to um, work with it slowly. Should have had it recovered a long time ago, but that's what happens when you get your ego uh, in the way. So, um, I take this, measure my blood sugar. Not going to show you guys that though. Um, there's going to be a lot of that before I eat, so. I'll see you later. Alright guys, real quick, um, I'm just going to actually eat 15 grams of carbohydrates because um, I'm 115 and that's good, but I'm about to exercise and I know my body, like I personally know my blood sugar will drop, uh, so it's going to probably drop to like 70 or something and I don't want to have a bad workout and get low. In the, middle, in the middle of my workout. So a lot of uh, diabetics ask me, um, 
How do you prevent getting low blood sugar before the gym? You see, this is why you have to prepare for it. Measure yourself before. You see your 115. Um, have like 10 to 15 grams of carb. Nothing more than 15 grams though, because you don't want your blood sugar um, getting too high. So just a quick quick tip, because I've been getting that question a lot. Um, gonna eat actually two rice cakes right over here. Plain rice cakes. Um, I'm just gonna sprinkle some cinnamon on it right over here. So shouldn't be too bad. That's around four. That's 14 grams of carbs. Now I'm gonna hit the gym. I'll see you guys um, in my next meal. See ya. What's up guys, so uh, I got back from the gym a little while ago actually, right now it's 5.45 p.m. and I have um, an appointment with like the Genius Bar for the, app Mac the Apple Mac Store, I don't know if you guys uh, know that or have that around, obviously you do, but <laughs> I have to fix my computer and that's actually that actually explains like the lack of uploads lately in my channel, um, I, I'll usually upload like three or four videos a week, but uh, my computer's been like messed up and broken. So I'm really trying to get that fixed. I've been using my brother's uh, computer to upload videos for now. So once that's fixed, uh, there's going to be a lot more uploads there. But anyways, this is a full day of eating, and I still haven't eaten anything since those uh, since the breakfast and those rice cakes for the gym. And it's almost 6 p.m. I'm getting real hungry, but I don't have time to eat at home. So I'm just going to eat at the mall, okay? So I'm not too sure what I'm going to eat yet, but I brought my stuff here, just my insulin and my monitor, you know. Just always bring that if you're diabetic, you know, just put it in a bag or something, put it in your pocket. Always have it around, and you can still eat out, guys, alright? Don't think you can't. So, I'll show you what I'm going to grab at the mall, okay? See ya. Alright, guys, so I just got to the mall, and um, I realized I can't eat in, uh, until after the appointment, because it's 6.08 right now, and the appointment's at 6.15 for, like, the Apple Genius Bar for my computer. Um, so, it's probably going to be, like, another half hour until I eat, and I actually felt kind of uh, low blood sugar wise and I measured my blood sugar and it's 68 as you can see right here so luckily as I was talking about preparation earlier brought an apple I'm gonna go ahead and eat this uh, so everything's gonna be alright uh, my blood sugar will go up by the time I eat so it'll be great so gonna go ahead eat this just letting you guys know like 25 grams of carb right here in this apple and I'll show you guys when I have a meal at the mall how you guys like this the the Mustang by the way you guys like the car I feel like a king driving this anyway I'm gonna be late to this gotta go see ya alright guys 7 p.m. finally getting dinner and I'm over here at Panda Express for the first time actually so what I got was the three entrees in one side have like a little more than a cup of rice, um, a bunch of grilled teriyaki chicken, some broccoli and beef. So this looks real good. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten like seven hours. I'm gonna demolish this and I'm actually not gonna take my shot yet. I'm gonna eat then take my shot because I still feel a little low. Probably like around 80, you know. Yeah, I can feel it out guys. You know, you don't always have to measure your blood sugar a million, million times. Uh, by now, 14 years, I think I can tell I, I know what my body feels, so I'm going to eat this and I'll take my shot around like 5-10 minutes after I eat. Alright, I'm going to enjoy this. You mind? Alright guys, so just measured my blood sugar, took my shot, and uh, you might be wondering how I know like how much carbs and well the macros for that meal were, and it's pretty cool because Panda Express, I saw online, they have a nutrition calculator, so you pretty much plug in whatever you ate, uh, your, like your entree and your dish, you know, I put the white rice, the teriyaki chicken, the beef and broccoli, and it gives you the macronutrient profile for your meal. So that's really cool. Uh, that's the thing about fast food nowadays, guys. 
and eating out you know online they all restaurants have nutrition facts okay uh, they have to so just look for that and you can enjoy yourself you know that's the thing about flexible dieting uh, even as a diabetic as a diabetic I do you know I go out and eat and stuff so my meal a huge meal by the way it's like a thousand calories uh, really f uh, filling uh, it was uh, I think 115 grams of carbs 35 grams of fat and uh, I think it was 89 grams of protein it was a lot of meat so uh, real big meal uh, very satisfying just took seven units um, you know it might have not been 115 gram carb it's not 100% accurate I'd say it's like 80 85 percent accurate so it looked about like a hundred carb to me so I'm going around 15 grams of carb uh, per one unit so it took a good seven you know better to be hovering around 150 180 than like getting low okay so went ahead did that awesome meal I'm gonna see you guys uh, later which will probably be like my last meal of the day honestly I like having three big meals guys I don't know how people can just do small like six small meals a day that's like a tease man like when it's like telling yourself you know oh I'm you know just right about to be full and then you, you stop giving it food <laughs> your body food I just having three big meals and maybe a snack so I'll see you guys on my next meal maybe final meal of the day alright guys 11 p.m. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have my final meal of the day only had three meals today just the way I like it love big meals but I'm gonna go ahead and take my shot of insulin and my measurements I'm gonna go ahead and show you that and then I'll show you what I have for my final meal of the day alright go ahead and show you what I got for my final meal of the day right over here as you can see so uh, 390 grams of rice brown rice and and 1.15 ounces of tilapia just to get that exact protein intake 170 grams um, so very little tilapia a little over an ounce and then 60 grams of salsa which is around four tablespoons so let me go ahead and show you guys for the day what my macros are now that I have a camera you guys like the quality by the way let me know comment below on what you think of that right over here you see I got actually all of my food almost 2600 calories pretty nice gonna try to really build up on this reverse uh, up to like 28 2900 maybe even 3000 and see what happens so there was Trying to go for 60 fat, hit 59. No big deal, one under. Trying to hit 340 carb, perfect, 340. Hmm, fiber is a bit low, not gonna lie. 28 grams. I really would love to get 40, but guys, being having celiac disease kind of makes it hard to be honest. Because <laughs> you can't have things like fiber one and things that like enhance or things that help you get your fiber in easily. But not a big deal. I'll uh, make sure I hit that tomorrow. Then 170 grams of protein on the dot. So there you have it. Like I said, just so you don't think I'm BSing. There's my breakfast. The eggs, oatmeal, turkey, bacon. See that? Carbs 115, 35 fat, 89 protein. That was the Pan Express meal. And then that apple I had when I got low blood sugar. And that's my final. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, everybody seems to enjoy these injections and uh, measurements and full day of eatings because it's kind of cool, guys. Um, you know, I'm living this lifestyle. The you know, and it's really easy. And I feel like if I can portray that, I can help inspire others out there to live a more healthy lifestyle. And that means a lot to me, guys. As long as I'm inspiring just one person out there, then. That's all that matters to me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this up, and I'm actually about to go catch a movie with my friends. Probably the Hercules, you know, The Rock. <laughs> Isn't that pretty big? That, that dude's made all kinds of gains. So, hopefully, looking like maybe I look like him in the future, but uh, without all the juice. So, yep, gonna eat it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to comment, like, uh, share and obviously subscribe to my channel there's gonna be a lot more content coming especially because I have this camera I'm loving it 
So, as always, stay strong.